Shalom. I want to first start off giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakakwadash, double honor to the apostles and the elders of the great millstone, the men that taught us this truth through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, and peace and blessings unto the elect. And in this uh, lesson, or the name of this lesson, I'm going to call it We Know the Name. And this lesson has been done, uh, or this topic, or lesson, however you want to put it, has been uh, went over and been done many a time, starting with the apostles uh, of Great Millstone, on throughout the the elders and different brothers throughout the different, uh, I was, I was going to say, with the different camps around the world. Okay, um, this is just to further push out that vibration that we do know the name and uh i believe it was the apostle, apostle gabar um he either entitled the lesson or he had made the statement going into uh iuic the reason that they're falling apart is because they're trying to build build a house in an in the in the in the, uh, the name in 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 the name of Christ, okay? And they not coming in the correct name, you know? And I'm roughly paraphrasing um, what the apostle was saying, but basically that's that's what he was, the gist of what he was saying was that uh, that's the reason why they're falling apart. And I believe some other, uh, I forget if it was the apostle or Rhyme Lob or uh, and other brothers too, you know, that uh, went into that same, topic or mention that that's the reason why they're falling apart is because they come in they not coming in the name okay and they know the name over there you know so i just want to further you know push out the vibration that we do know the name and it's uh scriptural so what i would like to first start off with is the book of acts chapter no i'm sorry not the book of acts the book of Romans, chapter 15, and verse uh, 4. Okay. So this is Romans, chapter 15, verse 4. It reads, For whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning, that through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope. Now, reading this verse is, is telling us in a nutshell that the things that are written in this whole Bible, because the Bible from Genesis through the Apocrypha all the way through the book of Revelation was written a four time. OK. And. Uh, and we use that everything that's written in the scriptures for our for our learning. It says that we through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope. OK. So we have faith. Another word for hope is uh, faith. We have faith that Yahweh is the name of the Heavenly Father and Yahweh Shai is the name of the only begotten Son of the Heavenly Father. Okay? Now from there, I want to go to uh, the book of Deuteronomy chapter 28. I believe it's verse 58. Yes, this is uh, Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 58. It says, if thou would not observe to do all the words of this law that are written in this book, that thou mayest fear this glorious and fearful name. And then it gives you the name right here. It says the Lord, which if you look that word Lord up in all caps is Yahweh, the Lord, thy God or thy power. Okay, so it's telling you that the way that you fear the name is by keeping the uh, the law, statutes, and commandments. And if you don't uh, keep the law, statutes, and commandments, okay, we know now that we're keeping them to the best of our ability. We're rehearsing the righteous acts. You know, we understand we cannot keep them perfect. Um, when you don't keep the laws, okay. And this time to the, uh, you know, it's to the best of our ability. That's showing that you don't fear the name of uh, the Heavenly Father. 
and 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 now of course Yahawashai because he's the mediator between us and the most high so in order for you to fear the name you have to know the name and uh IUI over there at IUIC they'll put up the argument that yeah we did know the name but now and uh since we lost our identity we went into captivity uh we don't know the name and i've even heard i forget who said it but it was in a the leadership they said that uh we're too defiled to uh utter the name uh the name of the heavenly father and his son okay and that's not uh that's not according to the scriptures that statement is it so I'm going to read that again. This is Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 58. It says, if thou wilt not observe to do all the words of this law that are written in this book, that thou mayest fear this glorious and fearful name, the Lord thy God. And then it goes on to talk about the different curses, the more curses that were going to come upon us. Because uh, us not keeping the laws was a sign that we didn't fear the name, meaning we had to know the name. And then if you go into the to the third commandment, the third commandment is uh, of the Ten Commandments, OK, is to uh, not to take the name of Yahweh in vain. OK. That's the, uh, the, the, the number three commandment. Okay, so uh, from there, uh, I would like to go to the book of, uh, I'm going to go to the book of Acts. Now I'm going to go to the book of Acts. And all, what I'm doing is I'm bringing out uh, examples and accounts in the scriptures that like that was actually in the uh, what Moses was telling the children of Israel that if they didn't keep the law, statutes and commandments, all these different curses was going to come upon us. OK, and in that and in him uh, telling us this, OK, he told us that if by us not keeping the law uh, to show that we fear Basically, if we keep the, you keep the law to show that you fear the name Yahweh, okay. And of course, you we have to include Yahweh Shai now, because like I said, he's the mediator. So not keeping the law is showing that you don't fear that glorious and fearful name, okay? Because by not obeying him, which the him the supreme power has a name, uh. He can jack you up. That's why we are jacked up to this day. Okay? Under these curses. Because we didn't fit a name. Okay? And uh, I'm, like I said, I'm going through the, these different accounts and examples in the scriptures that express that we, uh, we knew the name and that uh, we called on the name. And that's what the next, uh, we came in the name, especially the account that I'm about to read. It, uh, it expresses that after Yahweh Shai came, we were, and, uh, was crucified. We, uh, starting with the apostles, the 12 apostles. Okay. Or uh, disciples, which became apostles outside of, uh, Judas Iscariot. We uh, we're going back to them. They were calling on the name, you know. So I'm bringing out this account. This is in the book of Acts, chapter. Let me see where I want to start. Really, just to get to the point, you can read. Really, starting at uh Acts chapter three, read chapter four, and read chapter uh five. But I'm gonna jump straight to the point. This is Acts chapter five, and uh verse 28 well I started verse uh, verse 27 it says and when they had brought them talking about Peter 
Okay. And uh, I believe John. Right, Peter and John. This is uh, this is who they they brought them. It, was, it say that they brought them. So uh, it's, that's who was talking about. It says, and when they had brought them, they set them before the council, and the high priest asked them, saying, "Did we not? I'm sorry. Did not we straightly command you that you should not teach in this name? And that that name was uh, Yahawashai. Okay." In the name of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. They were coming in the name of Yahweh Shai. It says, and uh, and behold, ye have uh, filled Jerusalem with your doctrine and intend to bring this man's blood upon us. The point I want to get out of that is that uh, uh, Peter, matter of fact, I'm going to go, I'm gonna have to go back. Uh, into verse chapter four. Yeah, let me read this. This is Acts chapter four. Starting at verse seven, it says, and when they had set them in the midst, they asked them by what power or by what name have ye done this? And it was they was asking about uh, the lame man that sat at the temple uh, called Beautiful that they had uh, healed him, okay? And they healed him in the name of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, okay? And matter of fact, let me go ahead and read it. This is Acts chapter three, verse one. It says, now Peter and John went up together into the temple at the hour of prayer being the ninth hour and a certain man lame from his mother's womb was carried whom they lay daily at the gate of the temple, which is called beautiful to ask alms of them that entered into the temple, who seeing Peter and John about to go into the temple, asked and asked an alms. And Peter fastened his eyes upon him with John said, look on us. And he gave, and he gave heed unto them expecting to receive something of them. Then Peter said, silver and gold have I not, I mean, have I none, but such as I have, give I thee. And then it says, in the name of Yahawashai Hamasiach of Nazareth, rise up and walk. So they had the power of the Holy Spirit, you know, going back to, uh, they were given that, during the time of uh, Pentecost, you read that in the, the second chapter, Acts the second chapter. So they they were healing and uh, performing miracles, okay, in the name of Yahawashai. So going back over here to Acts the fourth chapter, this is what they're inquiring about, okay? The, uh, the high priest, they're inquiring by what power... Or by what name have you done this uh this miracle? Okay. And uh I'll read on it says, Then Peter, filled with the Holy Spirit, said unto them, Ye rulers of the people and elders of Israel, if we this day be examined of the good deed done to the impotent man, by what means he is made whole. Be it known unto you all and to all the people of Israel that by the name of Yahweh Shammashiach of Nazareth, whom ye crucified, whom Yahweh raised from the dead, even by him does this man stand here before you hold. So he was letting them know it's by the, the power that we coming in is the power of Yahweh Shai, Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Okay. So they was pushing the name. And like I said, they were, you know, I over there at IUIC, they, they'll raise the argument that, uh, yeah, they knew the name back then, but now we don't know the name. And uh, we're too defiled to uh, utter the name. But what makes us different from back then? You know, because didn't did not Paul say in the scriptures that uh, he has concluded that we all are under sin. 
we were we were in the same well we knew what we were Israelite we knew we were Israelites back then outside of the Israelite the Israelite foreigners not knowing but we had knowledge that we were the Israelites okay the circumcision knew but we were all under sin the scriptures say that a little leaven leaveneth the whole lump the scriptures say in the book of James if you offending one you offending all so that same statement that I forget who it was that made that uh, statement that we're too we're not worthy because we're defiled and we you know we're defiled basically we're not worthy to utter the name the true names of the heavenly father and his son well why was the apostles okay uh worthy back then to utter the name okay it's showing you that them guys over there are not right and they're not spiritual and they don't understand the, the scriptures okay um so I brought out that account. I'm gonna end this lesson because I don't. I don't want to make this too long. I'm gonna say it again. This is to push out the uh, the spirit that we do know the name. We have the name. Okay. Now I'll bring this up to date to where you you can't uh, argue that that statement. You know. And I just made the point. That if they could call on the name back then, we can call on the name now. If they would, because we we all are uh, under sin, okay? We all, even uh, Paul in uh, the book of Acts, the uh, not Acts, the book of Romans, the second, the seventh chapter, he was talking about uh, uh, how he was a wretched man, because how he wanted to shed this body because this us being. Our spirit being encapsulated in this body, okay, uh, we are not able to be perfect or keep the law perfect, okay, and that that applied back then. It applies today. So uh, you you can't argue. I'm about to bring out some scriptures. You can't argue that point because the scriptures are gonna tell us based upon what I bring out, okay. Which has been brought out already many times. I'm bringing it out again. Um, that we don't know the name. We do. We are going to know the name in these last days. So uh, this is the book of Baruch. Chapter 2. And I'm going to get straight to the point. Verse 32 it says. And they shall praise me in the land of their captivity. You're right over here in America. Okay. And throughout. Uh. uh the different places where our people are waking up, especially the, the teachers, okay, that are professing the name Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. It says, And they shall praise me in the land of their captivity and think upon my name. Okay? And why was we going to think upon the name? Because the Most High was going to jog our memory through, uh, through the preaching of this gospel, this word coming out. We were going to remember ourselves, remember that we are the Hebrew Israelites, believe in it, and we were going to remember the name. When we hear that name, we'll know that's the name. And I remember to this day, when I heard the name Yahweh, I never questioned it. Of course, I did go in and, uh, you know, eventually come around to uh, being able to go through the scriptures to break down the name and learn the Hebrew characters, learn the Hebrew alphabet. Uh, but I believe that when I heard the name, I believed it. And that's that's a true uh, statement. When I heard the name Yahweh Shai, I believed that name. Because the the Most High was, uh, through hearing this, this word being brought out, was stirring up our, uh, our memory. And I'm going to bring that scripture out. Okay. And uh, it's more that I can bring out, but I'm going to stop right here. Uh for the sake of time because I actually had to get to work but this is the book of uh, 2 Peter 3 and 1 and 2 Peter chapter 3 verse 1 it says this second epistle beloved I now write unto you in both which I stir up your pure minds by way of remembrance and uh, going back to Baruch chapter 2 and 32 
it says that in the land of our captivity we were going to think upon uh, the name of the heavenly father and his son okay and uh, we got the names okay so we do have the names and uh, you can't argue that and that's why y'all shit over there at all IUIC is falling, falling apart man and it's gonna continue to fall apart until that whole thing is in is in rubble. So with that, you know, uh, I'm gonna end this lesson. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory. Once, uh, well, let me say this. Uh, I hope this lesson was edifying and exhorting to your to the spirit. Uh, I want to once again give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai by Shem Rikakwadash. Double honor to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. The men that taught us this truth through the spirit and peace and blessings unto the elect and shalom.